In this video, I would like to show you how to count lines in a document in Linux. So there are certain command lines that you need if you want to count the number of lines in a document in Linux. So let me show you that by going to the directory where I have some example files. Okay, so in this directory, QA, I have some files there. So these are the files that I have. So the first command that I want to make use of is the word count command. And in that, it's going to list the number of lines. Give me the number of lines and the content of that particular file as well. So which is going to be with that WC minus L, then the file name dot txt. So this is one of the files I have on the server. <clears throat> so this is what I have here. So in this, it shows that there are 13 lines inside the file. And this is the file. Let me, let me show you the content of that file with the cat command. So this is the content of that particular file. If you can't, you discover that there are 13 lines. <coughs> so that, that is one of the ways to do that. Now, with this particular command, you will discover that the command is displaying the file name, which is file 21.txt. So now, <clears throat> what if I don't want to, the file name to be displayed? So I am going to change the command. So with the same wc command minus l, then I would use the less than sign, which means I don't want the file name to be displayed. Dot txt. So in doing this, it will only show me the number of lines in the document, which is 13 documents. Another command that can be used is the cat command, which is cat file21.txt, then with the pipe, because I want to run both commands at the same time. So that also gives me the number of lines in the document. So there is another command that can be used, which is going to be the number line command. That is nl file21.txt. So in this particular case, what this does, it, it gives the content of the file and also the number of each line which is another way. This is very important if you want to have, if you want to view the content of that particular file and see each line number. So that is when it is very useful. Now, but what if you want to count multiple files, the lines of multiple files? So that means, for example, multiple text files. You want to count the lines of all the, all the files at the same time. So with that, we can use the cat command. So which is going to be cat with the asterisk dot txt. Then with the pipe, because I want to count the line, which is going to be wc minus l. So which is, I have 42 lines in the files combined. So what this does is that the cat command displays the content, that means it the, the system goes into the file, the content of each file. That is why we have this cat command of each text file. And I am asking that I need the number of the lines of all the files. So that is why I have this. So the pipe really runs both commands. That means the cat command will run first and later the word count command will run. So that is what um, the commands are therefore to be able to count the number of lines in a file. 
So that is one way. Now, let's look at some other examples. Now, looking at this particular file, file21.txt, you discover that some in the line we have, for example, number of sales reports generated. So we have, you discover that some lines have OK, OK, error, and things like that. Now, what if you are only interested in the lines containing a specific value? For example, I want to display only, for example, I want to count only the lines with OK. I don't, I want to ignore this error. That means the line number seven. So if you have a large file with a lot of content, you can also filter the lines to display the, the, the number of lines of certain uh, features or characteristics of the lines. So with that, I'm going to use the grep command. So we have grep command. Then, for example, I, I'm only interested in the lines with OK. So which means the filter is OK. Then the file name, file21.txt. Then with the word count command. So I'm saying word count, then the line, count the lines for me. So you discover that if I am only having line, uh, nine lines with the word OK. So that means, for example, if you count these lines, you discover that there are nine of them. Another command that you can use also with the grep command is this. That is grep. Then we have my filter, OK. Then file21.txt. So you discover that it also gives the same, the same number of lines with another combination of um, commands. So that is how to count the lines in a document. So if we, I have shown about five different commands that you can use to do that.